The next paper is the Top Tumor Abstract and also the Proust Award winner, and that's will be given by Matthew Garrett. It's on metabolic characterization of IDH1 mutant and IDH wild-type glemospheres uncovers cell-type specific vulnerabilities. Hello, I'm Matthew Garrett. I'm a PGY7 at uh, UCLA. And for the past few years, I've been working on the IDH1 mutation uh, in gliomas. It's been about 11 years since we first discovered uh, this mutation in GBMs. And when it first came out, we knew only a few, few things. We knew what it did. It was a metabolic enzyme, A2HG. We knew that if you had the tumor with this mutation, you lived longer. And we knew that it tended to occur in low grades more than de novo GBMs. Flash forward a few years, we made some important progress. It's now looking like this is the first mutation to occur in these cells, and it's the first step towards tumor genesis. And if you have this mutation, it tells you more about, this, about your tumor, DNA-wise, expression-wise, than any other factor, including grade, which means that our previous system of using histology to categorize these tumors, low grade, high grade, two, three, four, is probably not accurate. It's better to think of these tumors as those that arise from this mutation and those that don't. Now, that's a problem clinically. All of our therapies are based on trials, and those trials are based on mostly wild-type tumors, indicating that maybe these therapies don't work on mutant tumors. In fact, they probably don't. Uh, this is some published data uh, with an IDH1 mutant um, uh, subgroup using more or less aggressive uh, chemo and radiation regimens. And if you're more aggressive uh, with your chemo and radiation, you don't see a benefit in mutant tumors, which indicates it's probably not working at all. So that's kind of where I began my hypothesis, the idea that our current therapies don't work on mutant tumors, and that we need to better characterize what these mutant tumors are like if we want to have more effective therapies. So I have a library of about 80 or so uh, patient-derived cell lines. And I put them through every kind of test you can imagine, uh, looking for differences uh, between wild type and uh, mutant tumors. And I found quite a few differences, but there are two that are the, kind of the most glaring. The first is mutant cells are great at protecting themselves from DNA damage, uh, in particular from radiation. So this is a comet assay. Uh, basically, you zap your uh, tumor cells, and then you run their DNA on a gel under current. And if there's a lot of DNA breaks in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the cell, it kind of runs it as a smear. And if it's intact, you get a nice kind of bright green dot. Now, wild types uh, behave kind of like ordinary cells in that they have the radiation, they take on DNA damage, single double-strand breaks, and over a, few year, over a few hours, they repair it. But mutants don't do that. Mutants don't take on damage. There are no DNA strand breaks. So, that's what mutants are, are great at. What are they bad at? So mutants are terrible at making DNA. So wild type cells, like a lot of cancer cells, uh, take up tons of glucose, and they shunt that glucose away from glycolysis and TCA and towards the pentose shunt pathway to make new nucleotides and new DNA. But mutants don't do that. They recycle. They break down RNA molecules into their building blocks and then kind of reassemble them into new DNA molecules. So is that useful clinically? Well, actually it is. So we actually have inhibitors against both DNA pathways. And as you can see, if you block the salvage pathway in a mutant, enzyme, in a mutant tumor, it works great, which I think indicates to me this is the bottleneck in, a, in the cell division uh, of a mutant tumor. So what are the take-home points? So I think our idea of histology to categorize these tumors is giving way to the idea that there are those that come from the mutation and those that don't. They're very different tumors. They need their own uh, therapies. But we can use uh, these patient-derived cell lines to uh, find the vulnerabilities in each tumor type, exploit them, and make a better therapy. Thank you. Uh, we'd like to present uh, Matthew with the Proust Award plaque.